Are you one of the 230 million Instagram users of India? If yes, this video concerns you and the many users of platforms owned by Meta, the company behind Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook and other apps that we use every day. During the 2020 Delhi riots, Facebook, which has around 315 million users in India, faced numerous allegations that the violence had been fueled by hate speech spread on the platform. In a separate incident, months preceding the riots, a video of a religious leader openly giving a call for ethnic cleansing was spread on Facebook. Generally, the internal stance of Meta has consistently been alarming in such instances. When confronted with divisive content, they chose potential business interests over removing a source of hate speech, arguing how it could negatively impact their business in India. Now, Meta is hosting its annual shareholder meeting on the 31st of May. Among the many proposals on the table, one stands out with pressing relevance to us in India. It's called Proposal 7. Proposal 7 seeks to address how Meta handles content regulation in India, an issue that has far-reaching implications for our society. Specifically, it delves into the concerning role Meta's platforms play in disseminating hate speech, fostering divisions and tragically instigating real-world violence. Reports indicate that Facebook may have allowed two dominant political parties to use the legal loophole to promote surrogate advertisements to boost their visibility. And the content moderation system, our line of defence against hate speech, is inefficient, unable to handle the diversity of India's official languages. Proposal 7 demands that Meta commission a non-partisan assessment of these allegations and the disclosure of results in a report to investors. The assessment would evaluate political biases, content management capabilities and the effectiveness of their mechanisms to co combat hate speech and disinformation. However, Meta's board has already cast the proposal in an unfavourable light, stating that the requested report is unnecessary and wouldn't provide additional benefit to shareholders. The board of directors have thus recommended that shareholders vote against the proposal. Notably, Glass Lewis, a leading advisory service that provides institutional investors with guidance on resolutions and voting processes, has recommended a vote in favour of the resolution. But this proposal isn't just about corporate policy. It's about preventing the misuse of such platforms for divisive agendas. Thus, we request that shareholders use their votes to compel Meta to take these concerns seriously and vote yes on Proposal 7 on 31st May. Starting today, the Internet Freedom Foundation will be posting daily, leading up to the meeting, highlighting the times when Meta fell short in handling these issues effectively. Help us spread the word by using the hashtag 7 Reasons for Proposal 7 on social media. Let's ensure that the platforms designed to connect us don't become tools for division.